Hello YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And we're going to do a blue card episode. Uh, the blue card era of Hot Wheels is really the era of Hot Wheels that I grew up with. Um, so we're looking at it starting at about 1989 and moving onward uh, for a few years in the 90s. But just some cool cars in the blue card era. I remember flipping through the pegs and looking through these Hot Wheels, looking for cool cars to bring home. Um, so anyway, we're going to do 10 blue card Hot Wheels, starting with this one right here, this Oldsmobile Aurora, which is kind of an interesting model. I don't think it was used very much. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. And there it is. Yeah, kind of a interesting little model here. It's got uh, basic black wall tires. It's this kind of oddball green-ish, tealish kind of uh, paint. We got a gray plastic base. Copyright date 93 Warner, Malaysia. I don't know much about this piece at all or much about this casting. I know that it hasn't been released too much. Uh, I'm trying to figure out right now if it even has an interior in it, which I don't. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it does. You just can't see it. The windows are so dark, but it does have an interior. Um, nothing for Tampa's except for this Hot Wheels logo on the back. Pretty basic little car, but definitely an oddball Hot Wheel. You don't see this casting very often, or at least I don't see it too often. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool to check that out. And I believe, actually, no, I'm looking at the card. No, the card was a U.S. card. Hmm. It was collector number 265. I'm not sure how rare this is at all. Um, but, eh, kind of cool blue card model. Blue cards are getting, I've been seeing them less and less. Uh, going to, like, toy shows, stuff like that. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of blue cards, but uh, there you go. So there's that one. And next one we got is the Olds 442W30 in yellow, number 267. Uh, copyright date on the back of this one is 1991. And here is the car. Uh, kind of an oddball looking casting. It doesn't look super well proportioned. A uh, little Hot Wheels logo in the back. Some uh, tempo on the top there. A black line across the sides. We got a chrome plastic base. Another Warner. Copyright date 93. Warner Malaysia. I'm not sure what the Warner means. If anybody does know, let me know in the comments down below. But these are some pretty cool blue card uh, Hot Wheels that we're looking at here today. Definitely some neat ones. So there's your olds. I think this is the only example of this casting that I have. Uh, kind of an oddball little casting. It just looks a little out of proportion. The stance looks a little off. But uh, pretty cool nonetheless. It's interesting. So there's that one. We've got a lot of interesting ones here in this uh, this batch. This one is uh, P Pontiac Fiero 2M4. 79 cents at Toys R Us. Copyright date 1990 on the packaging. New metal flake paint. Crazy paint job on this thing. Silver Hot Ones wheels, which I, I love the Hot Ones wheels. Wild paint scheme on this thing. Bright green, bright yellow interior. This one has a metal base. Copyright date 1984 is the casting, so the casting is older. Uh, there's been a bunch of different releases of the Fiero. It's got the Hot Ones wheels, though. Very, very cool makes them have a little bit of suspension because the axles are very thin. This thing rolls crazy good. 
and it's fairly heavy to boot since it's uh, pretty much all metal. But look at that wild paint scheme on here. So no, um, no tampos to speak of, not even a Hot Wheels logo. And just this crazy glitter, neon green, weird paint job. pretty darn cool though so there's that one and then we got this one here mercedes 380 sel with ultra hot wheels number 92 is a 1990 card this one came with uh, some speed points here if you didn't know what these are you could join the speed points club this was 10 speed points you could mail in this stuff to get uh, things including a compact five inch tv set tune to your favorite shows it's compact and cool a five inch tv like tube tv that's crazy stopwatch definitely cool i wonder if anybody's got the anybody i know has the tv set from back in the day that one must have been pretty hard to get i bet you that took a lot of speed points um, this one did suffer from some package rub, which is why you should free the piece on your cars. Uh, they sit in this packaging for a long time, and they rub back and forth as you move them around and stuff like that. Eventually, this can happen. A lot of times, you'll see it on the roof of older Hot Wheels. Um, this car is just a plain old black, gloss black. It is metal body, metal base. The copyright date of the casting is is nowhere to be found on the bottom of this. What? 1980, 1981. There it is. So it's an older tooling. Tan interior. No tampos. Just gloss black. Looks alright. Always was actually kind of a fan of these wheels. I know not a lot of people dig these wheels. I've always liked them. I've always thought they were pretty cool. So there's that one, number four. Number five, we got the Mercedes 540K, number 134. It's blue card. A um, little different design there. And this is 1990 copyright date on the card. Doesn't necessarily mean it was from the 1990 or 1991 series, but there is the casting. Pretty sharp looking little casting here in this nice glossy white, tan top, red interior, metal base, copyright date on the tooling is 1982, chrome grill, and decent looking blue card Hot Wheel. Not bad. Check it out. Eh, kind of cool. Digging that one. All right, moving on. We've got a Range Rover. We've actually got two variations of this one. Here's uh, number 221. There's a look at the cards. they got a truck on there. Range Rover. Uh, copyright date on this card was 1992. Copyright date on the casting. The plastic base, 1989. Gray plastic base. Kind of a sparkly black finish with the Range Rover tampos and the construction tires. And then we might as well just open up the next one right away, which is pretty much the same scheme, just white. You have a black one and then a white one. This is a copyright date, 1990, on the card. Same tan interior, same tires, black base, plastic. And both of these look pretty cool. Pretty cool Range Rover. Nice basic clean look to this uh, to this one. 
no crazy graphics. This uh, car came out a bunch. This truck came out a bunch of times, and a lot of times it had like wild graphics on the side. And these ones are pretty basic, so I quite like them. And the uh, ooh, this one's got some issue right there. on that wheel. A little quality control issue there. Other than that, looks pretty good. Alright, so that was those two. We got three left to look at. We'll start with this one here. The Kestrel Research Team Mercedes-Benz Unimog. See construction stuff here on the Hot Wheels. This was a new model. Um, I guess uh, copyright date 1990, so... Let's see what the date is on the base. This one does have a metal body, except for this is plastic, this top piece. And I wanted to try to see if it comes off. It does come off. You can, it looks like you can get it off. Yeah, it's like clipped in. Uh, we'll experiment with that in just a second. Let's take a look at this. So copyright date is 1990. Metal base, a little plastic piece right here that makes up the interior. So you have a red interior. And then you have this top castrol piece. And let's see here. Yep, and the top does come off. It just uh, clips in like that. So that's pretty cool. Construction tires. Kind of a nice looking uh, little Unimog casting. Heavy duty, lots of play value, looks pretty cool, pretty awesome, and then for the eighth one we got an Auburn 852, this is number 215, copyright date on this card was 1992, this one you got a Red metal body, plastic black fenders, metal base, copyright date on the castings, 1979. So this one had been around for a while. It looks pretty decent. I really dig the blue card era of Hot Wheels. The blue card and the black wall era are kind of like my favorite uh, little vintage eras. Uh, red lines are cool, but um, I'm not super into the real old red line castings. Um, I just, I liked this era, mostly because I was a kid uh, during this era. I loved Hot Wheels when I was a kid, and uh, so these, you know, more nostalgic to me. So you got a black interior, uh, windshield there, with the, some chrome outline on it. Fairly decent details in this piece. No tampos, doesn't really need them though. And uh, looks pretty good. It's a pretty decent looking little Hot Wheel. And then lastly, this one actually might be my favorite one of the group. This Holden Commodore. This is another one I don't think that you see too often. It's on an international card. Um, so that in itself is pretty interesting. Copyright date is 1990. I do not think there's very many variations of this. In fact... I don't remember if I ever looked this up, but this might be the only time this was released. Maybe not. Zellers. And there it is. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, I love the 80s looking tampo scheme on this thing. 80s, early 90s. Copyright date on the casting is 1989. So I would, I would fathom, it's probably been released more than this just this time. Um, but I think this is one of those international only releases where this casting was never really released for the North American market. I could be completely wrong, but it is right hand drive, um, which a Holden would be. And I think this is a really cool piece. The Holden Commodore. Pretty, pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Like how it's got uh, lens details for the front, which is actually part of the windshield piece, of course. 
red interior, white body, plastic base. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So that's it. That's your 10th car for this 10 car Tuesday that we featured some blue cards. I love featuring blue cards on, on these. It's great. This is the last one I think I'm, I'm able to do. I don't until I get 10 more uh, blue card carded Hot Wheels to try to uh, do a 10 car Tuesday with. So it'll be quite some time probably before I acquire those. Because I don't really actively seek these. I just kind of, when they're available and I see them at good prices and they're cool cars or cars I think that are pretty decent or interesting, um, I will go ahead and pick them up. So check it out. That's really cool. So I'd say yes, this is definitely my favorite. Uh, my second favorite, honestly, is probably this crazy looking uh, Fiero, just because I like silver hot one wheels. I think they're cool. I like the hot one wheels in general. And I think the silver ones or chrome ones are, are harder to find. You don't see too many cars with them anyway. And then uh, this has that sparkly paint job, which is kind of crazy. It's just crazy. And then this one's just kind of a weird casting, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, all of these are kind of weird. Um, but let me know which which is your favorite in the comments down below. You dig the Unimog? Are you a Range Rover guy? I know Dano, the Land Rover man, would like these Range Rovers. And uh, the Mercedes pretty classic car and other mercedes and the auburn so let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below thank you guys very much for watching another 10 car tuesday if you enjoy these videos again they are all conveniently in a playlist so that you may uh, check them out check them out so can watch them all if you want to there's a lot of video a lot of these 10 car tuesdays and and they jump around from brand to brand so please like comment subscribe and uh, subscribing is important to me please uh, do that um, i really wanted to get to like 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year this year uh, it being already the end of september and me only having three months to try to pull off getting uh, what would i need probably around Mm, 25,000 subscribers, or 25,000, uh, 2,500 subscribers possibly in three months is going to be almost impossible, but it would be really cool. So if you're watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.